Now, on a scale of one to 10, I would put myself at about a 10 in terms of being cheap, weirdly cheap with things. I'm not very cheap with cars, like carbon fiber and exhausts and things, they're kind of essential. But in life, I, I am. Unless it's an investment, I don't really like spending any money. So I went to get my hair cut and they were like, Chris, there's an apprentice. If you let him cut your hair, it's a lot cheaper. And I was like, oh, nice. That's a way I can save some money. And then he was doing a good job, to be fair. And then for some reason, he just started not doing a good job. And I said, can I have like a centimetre off of my fringe? Just for context, my hair normally comes to here. Okay, pretty much like around there. Now, it's, it's coming to there, okay? Now this is this is the pheno this is the phenomenon. Hmm? No, not the right word. Phenomenon, phenomenon. Okay. Is I don't know how this is possible. I now have two fringes. Okay. Now I don't really care how I look and my hair and whatnot, but this is just borderline impressive. The front line of hair is like this long. Right? And then suddenly, like, whoa, whoa, this is this is getting very long here. And then suddenly we've got like full length hair at the back. So when, when I put my hair, how I would normally have it, I've just got like a a layer of hair that's now just like a lot shorter than the, it looks a bit weird. It looks like I've kind of been like, that kind of looks like the top of my head now. Now this is where being cheap has its benefits. So I thought I was gonna get a five pound cheaper haircut. And the manager was like, this haircut's free. Then the next haircut is gonna be free as well because we need to fix what's gone wrong. So from saving five quid, I've now saved actually 40 quid because I've got two free haircuts. Now, speaking of cheap, I think this sink might be too far gone. There's actually quite a lot of damage to this sink. I'll overlay some clips so the, the base of the sink is chipped to pieces. Like there's a lot of damage there. The overflow is completely filled with concrete and I don't know how I'm actually going to get that out. Maybe I could use a drill or something. If anyone has any ideas to any of this, just let me know in the comments because at the moment I'm thinking that it's going to be not too possible to use this in my tiny house because it's just got so much damage. And with me, I am more than happy being cheap, but it has to be kind of comparable to the real thing. Kind of like my hair. That's actually quite a good similarity. If it kind of does 90% of the job, I'll happily get Facebook Marketplace free stuff or whatever. But this sink is like 10% of what just buying a nice sink looks like. And I was looking to get a nicer version of that. It's about 85 quid. And if actually restoring it costs more than 85 quid, it's a bit stupid rather than buying the actual thing. I'm trying to spend as little money as possible. And the main reason for that is this project, there is no debt. Every single thing that I'm gonna be spending on this is like real money, it's all cash. It's not a mortgage. I don't even know if you can get mortgages on tiny houses. I don't think you can for building one. I think there is a company called Squirrel, which allow you to get some like unique situation loans that are kind of like mortgages for buying a tiny house. And I think that caps out at like, 90,000 is like the maximum you can borrow on that. But I'm not gonna be doing that. I've also got a few ideas to save even more money than I normally do on like skylights, doors and windows. I don't really know if that's super possible at the moment. So I'll save that for a future video. I think the next video is gonna be like the foundations talking about that. Yeah, I hope you are enjoying this series. I mean, this has been a long time planning. I'm trying to increase the quality of the videos. I bought a drone which is probably gonna last about a week before it ends up in the sea, but I'm really enjoying it. And it is approximately now, check tire pressures. Ah, uh, that's not good. It's like 38 degrees in here right now. So I am going to drive back to London right now and I'll see you in the next video, bye.